Hey, what is up guys? This is FNH here and today I'm going to be showing you guys what the main difference between Chrome and the new Microsoft Edge is. Okay, so if you guys know, Microsoft has recently came out with a new browser. Um, it's the same name as before Microsoft Edge, but they, you know, completely revamped the whole application. Okay, so now it is running on Chromium right which is an open source um, I guess browser right uh, similar to what Chrome runs on okay so Chrome also runs on a browser open source browser called Chromium alright so now you can see they're very similar in the look right um, especially now because uh, before Microsoft had in terms of the theme Microsoft's theme usually was pointy edges right but now you can see um, like the tabs are more like I guess curved on the edges right um, and you know you'll notice the input box is curved all these are slightly more curved than what they would normally be all right um, so yeah so you can see both of them they look very similar right um, I have you know dark mode on on both of them that's why um, Chrome well I should say edge is on the left hand side and Chrome is on the right hand side if you guys don't know all right, so on the left hand side, you can see the browser comes with this personal feed up here, right? Um, and then Chrome has a really basic one, you know, nothing, no scrolling up and down. I mean, you could customize it, right? Uh, but, you know, by default, it's just, um, I believe, your most recent visited uh, websites, right? Um, and yeah, so that's just the home page. Um, I've been using edge for the past few weeks and I noticed that it has some really interesting features okay um, you know Chrome was my go-to browser before you know and well before I switched over to Firefox for a little while right and now you know edge is I'm really debating on switching over to Microsoft Edge okay especially um, since the features that it provides all right. Um, so, and also um, the home page, you guys are wondering, you can customize the uh, Microsoft one also. All right. So you can see focused, inspirational, informational, uh, or a custom layout. So yeah. So that's that. Um, some of the features that I really like about the new Edge browser is that it's really fast. Um, I would probably say faster than Chrome. Okay. Um, I don't know I haven't really done any you know background statistics on it or any benchmarks right but um, just a personal you know just using it on a day-to-day -day basis I can kind of see that edge um, yeah the edge is slightly faster all right um, and it, it also has the plugins which is probably one of the main things uh, people want on a browser so that's I guess the downside edge does not have that many extensions and plugins so to look at it you can click the um, what is this the ellipsis over here and click extensions so right now I only have the origin um, ad block extension right um, and if you want to get more extensions you do you have to go to the Microsoft store you know this is very limited uh, not really many uh, what do you call it? not many uh, extensions available here but as far as you know if you go to the Chrome web store there are like a million uh, extensions right and not only extensions but apps as well okay so that's that's one place I think that uh, Chrome definitely beats edge browser is the uh, apps and the extensions but uh, on the other hand edge does allow extensions from other stores okay so you know if you you I believe you can import uh, Chrome extensions into Microsoft Edge so that kind of you know uh, makes up for Microsoft's store itself not having that many apps all right so that's definitely I would say um, you know it's not too bad since you can use Chrome's but it, since it doesn't have its own um, I would really say that it's better for Chrome since that is the native client that it will work on it might not work as good on edge browser than it than it does compared to Chrome okay but so far I haven't really seen any issues all right uh, the next thing I really like about Microsoft edge browser is that you can create apps okay so meaning that you can basically so for example I created you can create an app for any website 
and once you create an app it saves an icon to the desktop right um, and then you can just double click that icon and it will open it up in an app okay so what I mean by that is okay uh, is that so I already made YouTube into an app so if you guys don't know what I mean by that so you can go to any website go to apps and then go install this site as an app right and then that, that would automatically install it as an app and what I mean by apps is this so if I click YouTube so you can see over here it's opened up as an app right um, you know there's no URL bar or anything is basically like a program um, but obviously it is a browser just into a uh, what, what do you call it into a, a program looking thing so that that I find really nice um, Chrome I don't believe has that you can install apps but it's still once you open it it gives it it opens it in a um, what do you call it? in a browser right so you can go to here um, and then what is it more tools I believe um, and then, uh, yeah create shortcut so you can create shortcut and then it will basically install it as an app all right so yeah that's uh, in my opinion edge browser definitely that's a lot cooler and a lot better um, obviously you wouldn't want to do that for every website that doesn't make sense um, only websites where I guess it would be useful to use it as an app maybe like your email client YouTube only a few other applications probably make sense to do that so yeah um, other than that overall the edge browser it looks very promising um, I would highly recommend you guys check it out if you guys even haven't um, you know it's very different from Internet Explorer I know Internet Explorer sucks right um, basically um, so yeah definitely check this out it's it's a lot better than the old edge as well so if you guys didn't like that um, this one is very different and in my opinion it's really good all right um, one last feature that I forgot to mention that I really like about this I think it's probably probably really useful and pretty cool is that you can go to any any web page and go read aloud right so let me just pause that for a second so basically it's just gonna read the website so let me do it on a more um, you know uh, on a website that it actually makes sense on so let's go to CNN and let's open a article so let's do this Airbnb one so all right we're here and let's do read aloud video stay airbnb further expands its coronavirus response hosts complain vrbo makes no change jen rose smith so yeah you can see it's pretty cool um it's reading it for you obviously there it's going to read like unnecessary things that you don't need but once it comes here um you know it'll read everything and it'll be useful and I think that's actually pretty cool. You can change the speed of the voice. You can change who the I guess the, who's speaking, right? Microsoft has a bunch of their own um, audio players, right? Um, so yeah, that's I, I think it's pretty amazing. Um, and I, I know for this feature, it's not just a gimmick. A lot of people will use it, and even me, I'll probably use it sometimes. Just too lazy to read something. Um, if I have it playing as an audio, I probably would more likely to be read or I guess listening to it than just reading it so yeah um, Chrome does not have that feature built in there's definitely probably like a plugin that does that but um, you know I just like it that it's straight out the box on edge so yeah um, overall I'm definitely going to be using edge for the next couple weeks for sure you know just trying to see if I can whatever I do on my original browser I'm able to do in edge right um, I believe I probably will be able to you know um, I definitely like that Microsoft is upping their game and coming out with a browser that's actually pretty useful right um, not just fixing up the old crap browser they've always had right um, so yeah they're definitely listening um, definitely like this if you guys haven't checked it out definitely go and check it out um, if I believe by now Microsoft is automatically updating it so if you still see the old edge, edge browser um, you might want to just go to their Microsoft website edge download and you should be able to download the updated one 
And aside from that, they also got a new logo, which I believe is a lot cooler than their original logo. So yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. You know, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the, in the description below. Um, you know, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.